In Nigeria, women dying during pregnancy or childbirth remains a challenge. The risk of maternal and newborn death is higher among women in the northern states as compared to women in other parts of the country. While ANC is seen as a gateway to promoting healthy behaviors in order to reduce maternal and perinatal deaths and an established recommendation that a woman should have a minimum of eight ANC contacts, the proportion of women who attend ANC is 67%. Across the three focus states, ranging from 51.6% in Bauchi, 24.3% in Sokoto, to 14.7% in Kebi. While women who delivered in a health facility by a skilled birth provider in 2018 was 43.3%, ranging in the focus states from 21.6% in Bauchi to 3.4% in Kebi and 9.2% in Sokoto. Despite all the benefits attached to facility delivery, 59% of women still deliver at home and mainly attended to by traditional birth attendants. The root cause of low uptake of maternal and newborn child health and services includes deeply rooted social and gender norms and other harmful practices. In addition, other factors leading to maternal and newborn deaths varied among the states, but often include lack of knowledge among women and their families on the uptake of maternal and newborn child health plus nutrition services. Costs, distance, and transport difficulties are also contributory. Also, the state of facilities that includes lack of human resources, equipment, drugs, and poor referral services. Masala de Kehana Mama Tamu Nanzoa Asibiti Awo de Kumai Huashini, Russian Gadu, Mamu de Gadu Koguda, Wanda Za, a quanta de Mache, I mata Awo, Kokuma in Nako de Ata, so Haihua, Tazo Asibiti. Abunabi de Kehana Musuzoa Asibiti, Suna de Kanan Cheng Elimi, the Pahenta Akang, Mahiman Chenki will lie here. Abuna Oku, Bamu de Magani is a Suna Asibiti. Say an rubu tama machamagani, one look at you say ambada sa ozu a shanga, kokuma koko ko wane gari in the da aja aso one day ke kahen asau ansa muda mwaso sega wan namara shila hia, kokuma wana abuya haru, mas anan chi haka. So wa anga mas alolin sune sunka hana mamuta namu bada kariga kiwa la hia, kozu wa asibiti so se. USAID's flagship social and behavior change SBC project, the Break to Action Nigeria supported and collaborated with SPHCDAs to strengthen the capacity of 75 World Development Committees, the WDCs, in Kebbi, Sokoto, and Bauchi states. Uh, we supported them to define and resolve priority health challenges on MNCH by addressing the root causes of this uh, MNCH, which include funding challenges, social and gender norms, and other harmful practices uh, through the community capacity strengthening approach. The World Health System was developed to strengthen the primary health care systems in Nigeria. The MPHCDA, supported by partners, developed guidelines for the reactivation, formation, and orientation of development committees to strengthen the PHC system. The World Development Committees in Nigeria are one of the structures that have over time demonstrated their relevance towards increasing community engagement for health and development. What Breakthrough Action Nigeria Project did was to implement this approach by strengthening community leadership and capacity to address maternal, newborn and child health plus nutrition challenges using local resources. Breakthrough Action Nigeria supported the State Primary Healthcare Development Board in Sokoto, Kebi and Bauchi to conduct an assessment aimed at evaluating the impact of the collective action, the performance of WDCs, and document some lessons learned while building the capacity of the state and LGA team on the process of conducting a community participatory assessment. Using their local resources, the WDCs raised over $8,000 collectively across the three states to conduct various activities ranging from supporting pregnant women to go for ANC and facility delivery through community transportation systems, procurement of delivery kits, drugs, consumables, and commodities to promote uptake of health services supporting facility repairs. 
The WDCs have been able to transport over 1,140 pregnant women for ANC, over 1,100 for facility delivery, which has led to an increase in ANC attendance and facility delivery. The WDCs have line listed over 6,600 newborns for immunization, thereby helping over 4,000 to receive their first dose of immunization. Results from the assessments have shown that local resources within a community can be harnessed into making human, financial, and material resources available to the health facilities in a sustainable way. Moreover, the approach has increased collective problem solving and learnings can be applied to education, women empowerment, agriculture, and sanitation.